Well, you know what I think is important about uh, one of the favorite things about having working at PW is we have such a uh, family atmosphere here. Um, we have generations of students, of siblings, and parents that have come through, and their children have come through now, and, and we know each other so well, and I think that's a very positive thing. Um, you know, one of the drawbacks maybe of the school would be that we're not very diverse. We're in a, we're in a rural community, and that's kind of a, uh, that's expected in, in a rural community, I suppose. And so, you know, if, if it was a way to you know, challenge our children a little bit more, being a little more diverse might be helpful. But things have changed. We are, you know, more people are coming into the district that are new. And so um, it is bringing, you know, some diversity to us with, uh, you know, um, different ethnicities that have been attending our school lately. Um, subjects I teach would be uh, world history and American history at the uh, junior high level. And I've uh, been doing that for quite some time now. I try to make it as entertaining, as exciting as I can. Um, I hope the kids, you know, come out of here with a, a good appreciation for, you know, the world and America in general. And and I, uh, like I say, I try to make it fun and yet a really, you know, what's the most important is that they come out of here learning something. Um, specific needs for our, our department or my classroom, you know, I, I'm blessed with a smart board. I've been able to use a lot more technology and, um, that's been great. I, I, I'm trying to improve it all the time. I think that the use of that technology, Google Earthing things, uh, bringing up some video streams is a real benefit. It enhances uh, the education process. It makes it differentiate instruction, you know, and the kids, uh, I think, enjoy it a lot. What I think, though, would be nice for the, our, our department would be our texts are, textbooks are so outdated. Uh, mine's at least 13 years old, and I know some at the high school end are even older. And with new textbooks, might be there might be changes that could, we could incorporate, and actually in more technology. The textbooks often come with uh, areas uh, online that you can tap into and do even greater technology uh, lessons. So I think that would be a great thing if we could get hands on that. Um, do I often buy stuff with my own money? Absolutely. I think all teachers do. Uh, I just recently purchased uh, a uh, exterior hard, hard drive. I want to be able to pull information off of the, the computer that I have here because it's starting to slow my, my system down. So I went out and purchased so I can download a lot of my video streams and some of those other things, sites and sources that I use so it'll free up space on my computer. Um, I just think it's important that I can keep on top of ta you know technology because I think that's the wave of the future in education. Um, I don't know what it would be like if I had all the materials that I wanted because, again, as most teachers, we, we've we learned how to improvise. We we, ha we often go without, uh, you know, all the materials that we'd like to have. So we find ways to, you know, get our point across without using, you know, some of this technology or some of the new material. So to be honest with you, I don't know how I, what, what it would be if I had the material right now. I guess if I had it, I would, you know, I'm sure I could improve upon what I do. And uh, if I had any of the money, any money, you know, on my hands right now, like I said, I think I would continue to look at, you know, my first and foremost needs would probably for our department would be trying to upgrade, you know, uh, a resource for the for each student, which would be text. Uh, you know, I would try to continue to improve on the technology that we have here. Um, you know, down the road, I can see that maybe we'd even look at, uh, you know, laptops for every student in the building. Because it seems like that is a new, uh, uh, looks like a new direction for us as well. So uh, I thank you for your time, and, and I hope I can, uh, hope my points uh, were valid, and, and I appreciate your, you know, listening to me. Thank you.